Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Health Forensics. And I'm here to review this experiment. Now this is a part-time Faraday cage experiment and this plant only goes inside of the Faraday cage during the daytime and it spends its night time outside of the cage. So this is how it looks of a night time and of a daytime the cage goes over the top of the plant to make the complete Faraday cage. And as you can see, we have a very deformed Diphenbachia. Believe it or not, this is a Diphenbachia. Diphenbachias typically have leaves the size of your hand. So we've got extensive retardation going on. We've lost the patterning. And we've got a plant that's growing, but it's, it's not very healthy. It's a sickly Diphenbachia plant. So I'm going to show you what a Diphenbachia is supposed to look like when you grow it outside of a Faraday cage. And here it is. So this is what the Diphenbachia is supposed to look like. I'm going to put this right next to this one so you can see what they look like side by side. So quite a difference. So this is what Diphenbachias now grow like in my home and it's quite different to what they're doing inside of a part-time Faraday cage. So, completely different plant. So this is one of the things that I tell people is that you shouldn't live inside of Faraday cages, even part-time, because if it's doing this to a Diphenbachia, you can only wonder what it's doing to a human. So I think anyone who lives in a Faraday cage for a prolonged period during the daytime or nighttime or full time is probably going to see some very strange health issues. So I actually regard Faraday cages as a very biologically toxic item for long term health based on these Diefenbacher experiments and I advise people to avoid them and people are inadvertently living inside of these Faraday cages and they don't even realize that it can occur when a lot of foil or metal has been used to construct the building and you may find that you start exhibiting health that resembles this plant so poor health is the expectation of you live inside of Faraday cages part-time or full-time, so I advise people to avoid it. So that was the results of the part-time daytime Faraday cage experiment. I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.